When ProPresenter, I think it was either 4 or 5, added the mask layer, the only thing that I could think to do with it is for environmental projection. But someone brought up a very good use for it in a question that uh, he sent to me. So I thought I would show you how to use the mask layer in ProPresenter 7 because it's a little different than some of the other versions and talk to you about why you would do it. So without further ado, let's head over to my computer and take a look. Here we are in Pro 7 and you may know that the mask editor is up here under more. So you can go in here to mask editor and you click the little plus button right here to add a new mask and then in this particular case what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape. So let's just add a rectangle here and I'm going to drag that down lower left hand side and let's change the size of this from uh, 180 by 180 to 1920 by let's say 680 so now let's also change where this is located and just drag it up here And now you'll see that I have a mask that masks off the vast majority of the screen. So, let me tell you why I did that. The question that someone asked was, uh, they have a worship night, and when they have all the people that are up there for the worship night, they have to raise their screen very substantially. So the question was, how can they do that and make it to where it's not shining in the faces of the people that are up there, the larger choir than normal, etc.? So the mask is a perfect situation for this. You raise your screen to a certain level and you have masked off everything below that level so that you can just put a couple of lines of lyrics just at the top and that's it. So, now that you've created this mask, how do you enable it? Well, let's head back to the computer, and we're going to go uh, into Show, and I'm just going to click on this, just to show you that I've got something, you know, it's not the prettiest background in the world, but, you know, it works. So, what if instead of this we wanted to do the worship night which has a whole lot masked out well the first thing we're going to do counterintuitively because this was different in pro 6 is we're going to go into screens and edit looks so now in uh, looks we'll notice we're on screen one here so this is the column i want to look at and now i want to click on this little ghostbusters symbol so I'm going to click on that, and it was Mask 2 that I just added. So when I uh, do that, you'll notice that it masks out everything except for this top little bit. But, now we have a problem. You can't see the lyrics. No problem. Go down here to Presentation, and pick the appropriate theme that will uh, put it in the right place. I don't know that I've got one that's perfect for this, but um, maybe we can find something here. Maybe this one. So now, you can see how I'll, I will need to tweak that, but it has uh, replaced the background because 
that background is on the slides layer instead of the background that's underneath it. And I've moved the text up. So that's the way to do it. Now, obviously, I would need to set this up before they do the worship night the first time. But once they do that, I could just save this as a look. You know, let's click Save As here and go Worship Night. And now, anytime we have Worship Night, I just change the look and this will change. Uh, look 1 should be as it was so I can make live and that's back there. So it's really a simple process once I've set it up to add in the alternate template for the once a month, once every six months, however often it is, um, worship night. Mask off the bottom and change the template just by changing the look in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like Church Tech U, my online Church Tech training community. Go to churchtechu.com and check out all I have to offer. I'm always offering uh, different sales and bonuses and different things to uh, help your church make a huge difference in your community. So head over to churchtechu.com today and check it out. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.